Lectures were in session at the School of Medicine and Health Sciences at the University for Development Studies, Tamale Campus, when City News visited the campus on Monday morning. The nearly empty campus a few weeks ago is now busy with students working briskly to attend lectures. Other faculties were also preparing their timetable to begin lectures. This follows a suspension of the six-week old strike. Even though academic work has begun and students are excited, they fear their joy may be short-lived if negotiations between UTAC and government fail again. Some of us, it's unless we have, we know that we are going to write the exam before we, like, we can learn. So actually when we went home, we couldn't learn and we are back. And fourth is just on Friday. So we don't know actually if we'll be able to write the exams or not. I'm happy we can continue classes and then we have an exam to write, like, on Friday, so we can write it and we'll be free, like our mind to be okay. I'm not, I'm not that happy about it because being at home is something else. In an interview with City News, the Vice President of UTAC, UDS Chapter, Professor Victor Mogri said, the academic calendar has been adjusted by management to make up for the lost hours. From the calendar that I've seen, the one that is coming from the University for Development Studies, I can see that there have been some sort of changes in the calendar. But I think was, they have still tried to ensure that students will be able to get the maximum hours that they actually need, or let's say the minimum amount of hours that they actually need. Yes. So it is still within because uh, there haven't been so much of a reduction of the number of weeks. From the UDS campus, I am Daina Ngwan reporting for City News.